Okay, guys, Father God, I just ask you to come in right now in the mighty name of Jesus and go inside this twin flame room in the mighty name of Jesus and touch the he touch and heal the sick, the poor, the weak, the broken, the sad, the lonely, the abandoned, uh, abandonments, the rejected. Lord God, I just ask you to go in right now, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask you to forgive us for our sins, Lord God. And again, I say, Lord God, please go off inside of this twin flame room, Lord God, and just heal the broken, the sick, the mistreated, the lonely, the abandonment, the rejected, the lost, the poor, the weak, the sad, the heartbroken. Lord God, just please go in right now, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus and help heal and deliver these people, Lord God. Show these people your face, Lord God. Let these people know that you are present, Lord God, in our situations, Lord God. Deliver us from uh, out of Zion, Lord God. Deliver us from, uh, we could be the Israelites. We could be the um different we could be there in jerusalem god right now in this point time and place lord god but we just ask you to go in right now in the mighty name of jesus and heal and deliver anyone that anyone that is facing any obstacles that is keeping them from receiving the love that you want to give us in the mighty name of jesus okay guys here Father God, I asked a while ago, just a, not just a few minutes ago, when I did a reading, and um, God, I tell these people all the time that everything to do with these cards, from pinnacles to chariots to emperors and all of that, is in the Bible. And so, God, you had gave me a word, and you said. At the time of, this is Luke 2, 1 through uh, 1, we'll just do 1 through. At the time the Roman Emperor Augusta decreed that a census should be taken throughout the Roman Empire. This was the first census taken when Quirinus was governed of the Syrah, governor of Syrah, all returned to their own ancestral towns to register for their census. And because Joseph was a descendant of King David, he had to go to Bethlehem in Judah, David ancient, David's ancient home. He traveled there from the village of Nazareth, of Nazareth in Galilee, Galilee. He took with Mary, he took with him Mary, his fiance, who was now obviously pregnant. And while they were there, the time came for her baby to be born. She gave birth to her first child, a son. She wrapped him snugly in strips, stripes of cloth, cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no lodging available for them. The night there were shepherds staying in the fields nearby, guarding their flocks of sheep. Suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared among them, and the radiance of the Lord's glory surrounded them. They were terrified, but the angel reassured them, Don't be afraid, he said. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David, and you will recognize him by these signs, by this sign. You will find a baby wrapped snugly in, a, in stripes of cloth, lying in a manger. Okay, again, guys, what I am telling you guys. Glory to God in highest heaven and peace on earth to those whom, to those with whom God is pleased. Okay, see, we we always try to get straight away from the teaching of what real unconditional love mean and what these cards really mean. These cards were made by someone that God apparently 
have put the anointing of the Holy Spirit in. And it, it was to do with love and finding love and being connected with love unconditional a connection with the holy spirit and people you know they you know in this world people do what they want and they make up so many different stories guys but then again i went over here where god was stating he said okay and this was luke this is luke 4 4 3 then the devil said to him, if you are a son of God, tell this stone to become a loaf of bread. But Jesus told him, no, the scripture says people do not live by bread alone. Then the devil took him up and revealed to him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. I will give you the glory of these kingdoms and authority over them. The devil said, because they are mine to give to anyone I please. I will give it all to you if you will worship me. Jesus replied, the scripture says you must worship the Lord your God and serve only him. Then the devil took him to Jerusalem to the highest point of the temple and said, if you are the son of God, jump off for the scripture says he will order his angels to protect and guard you and they will hold you up with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. Jesus responded, the scripture also says, you must not test the Lord your God. When the devil had finished tempting Jesus, he left him until the next opportunity came. Jesus rejected at Nazareth. You see, then Jesus returned to Galilee filled with the Holy Spirit power, Holy Spirit's power. Reports about him spreads quickly through the whole region. He taught regularly in their synagogues and was praised by all, everyone. When he came to the village of Nazareth, his boyhood home, he went. He went as usual to synagogue on the Sabbath and stood up to read the scriptures. The scroll of uh, Isaiah, the prophet, was handed to him. He unrolled the scroll and found the place where this was written. The spirit of the Lord is upon me for for he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim the captives, that captives will be released, that the blind will see, that the oppressed will be set free, and that the time of the Lord's favor has come. Guys, that was just a little bit of what I'm talking about to you guys. God is trying to set the DM free. He's, he's trying to set us free. He's trying to set all these people free and make them, take them out of captivity in their minds, in our minds. But people are so caught up and entwined in the worldly things. God says, if you are a child of his, he said, we are in this world, but not of it. You got so many people that's worshiping idols and a lot of those things have came on in and they're roaming about throughout even the twin flame room. You got idol worshipers. You got people that don't feel good about themselves. People that things have happened to them that were very hurtful and they refuse to surrender and submit to the Lord thy God. So they're still stuck there. And they're thinking that by coming here because, uh, you know, all spirits are not from God. All spirits, uh, the, the devil even knew scripture. The devil even knew how to uh, act as if though he was of God. So you have to be very careful, people. Very careful. I'm not trying to feed y'all too much meat today, but God says that. But Jesus told him, no, the scripture says people do not live by bread alone. We don't live by physical bread. We live by scripture. This is our life. This is our bread. It is our meat. We have to eat and be neat and be streak solely onto the Lord thy God. Everything 
It's chariots in the Bible. It's victory in the Bible. It's vision in the Bible. It's love. The real and true love is in the book of Songs of Songs. You guys, and that's to do with the twin flame journey. It's unconditional love in the Bible, but it also was destruction brought up on people that chose to not live by God and lived for the devil. So, guys, we have to be very careful. We have to be very careful what we're doing. That's all I wanted to say, dear people. God bless and y'all have a great night.